We're back at Chartin on Sunday for a 10 race program. Welcome to Racing Suwin. We have it covered for you all right here with the racing all on the turf and the run in the C plus three position. Joined in the studio to see it all by Paul Lully and Tom Wood. And Tom, not quite the level of racing we had last Sunday, but there are still winners to find. There are 10 winners to be found, to Mark. Could be a bit of a wet old day out at Chartin Sunday. We haven't had any rain here in Hong Kong for a, a long time, but it has been raining on a Saturday afternoon. There is more predicted for a Sunday, but yeah, mixture of sort of class three, four, five actions, so slightly on the, the lower grade side of things. Yep, they sure are. There is a, a little jackpot, Paul. It's an interesting jackpot. Well, it comes up uh, really early in the day too. It races one and two. It's a double trio jackpot of 800,000. So that should get up to five million. So uh, you can start your day off pretty well there if that comes in for you. You sure can. We're going to have a look at the meeting details right now for uh, this one. In fact, we'll look at the withdrawal first before we check the meeting details out. Race one of the 12 Yo-Yo Knights come out, replaced by Lucky Eternity with Harry Bentley to ride. Race five, number seven, Yellowfin has been replaced by Sylvester de Souza's mount in superb move. And they're the withdrawals. Now we'll have a look at the meeting details. And it is meeting number 56. Ten races, turf, C plus three course for all of them and uh, we've got an early start 12.45 because we are taking a simulcast race from Japan. Two races on the show, races 8 and 10 over the 1,000 and 1,400 metres. Race number 8 and the class 3 over the 1,000 has Run Run Cool, a last start winner. He carries an extra pound for it. Metro Warriors, a three-time course and distance winner. Pleasant Endeavour's been having a great season. Winner last time, extra five on his back for it. Nakoni County, second time down the straight. Flying Dragons place four from seven, course and distance. Seasons Wit has the blinkers going on. Cheval Valiant's a last start winner. Flying High comes up in grade. Silver Sonic was known as Chain for Chris Waller. Went over the 1,300 metres in Sandown. And Savvy Delight comes back from the 1,200 to the 1,000 metres. The speed map here, Tom Cheval Valiant flew along in the lead last time. He didn't. Uh, last time out, he had the 125 on his uh, back, and he's uh, got a, a lighter weight uh, here with uh, only 140. Courtesy of the, the seven coming off with Angus Chung, and he's up in grade to here. And if he was able to pinch a little break in, they might find it a little tough to run him down. But Metro Warrior uh, will be handy. Pleasant Endeavour can stalk the speed. He's drawn barrier 13. Seasons with uh, in the middle of the line there over on the far side. Newcomer Silver Sonic and uh, Talent Supremo were uh, Paul. If they went really hard, he might be able to run over the top of them late. He, went, he hit the line really uh, nicely at his last start, uh, didn't he? He hit the well, uh, line well. The Coney County, another one coming to the straight, 1,000. Uh, he caught the eye last time as well. But there's a few last start winners in this race, so it's, it should be a really good, good race. Yeah. Indeed it should, with uh, Seasons went not a last start winner, but he did run second at his Hong Kong debut. He's won on a rain-affected track in Adelaide if the rain does come, and he's trained by Jamie Richards. Race number eight, Seasons went. He was trialling strongly before that good debut second. Yeah, he ran well on, on debut here at, at Happy Valley. He was obviously uh, drew a good barrier and got a soft run. And um, First up, class three for a three-year-old is never easy, but he did a good job, and um, we've been happy with him since. He's been back to the trials. He wore the blinkers in Australia when he was a colt um, and I just wanted to sort of see how he handled himself in a trial with them on so uh, we've decided to leave them on. He's having a look down the straight for the first time but he has trialled down there so uh, good competitive race again. Not easy for these three year olds in, in, in class three but uh, hopefully he's a progressive horse. He was midfield on debut but has shown speed in his trials. Might he be a little closer to the pace because there's a lot of speed in this race? Yeah we'll just leave it up to Zach. He's drawn out. Um, closer to the rail side which is which is a help for him so hopefully he can just posse up and behind the speed somewhere and um, and be given his chance but you know the horse is going well and hopefully he can uh, hold his form. Back to Wednesday night winning double congratulations to Infinity some of the owners look shocked was the trainer shocked as well? Yeah it was a bit of a surprise but uh, yeah he'd always sort of threatened to do something like that when he got the right run and the, and, and the right trip. Um, 1650 around here certainly looks like it suits him and uh, the early sectionals of that race set it up for something to get up, get home over the top of them. So uh, always good to get a winner. It's a very hard place to win races, so we'll, we'll take whatever comes our way. And six generations finally getting some luck in his races. Yeah, he, he had to do a power work last time, and that just told in the finish. But he was able to uh, get a better run in transit here on Wednesday night, and. Uh, came out at the top of the straight and hopefully won with a little bit in hand. So he stays in class four and he'll be seen back here at Happy Valley 1650 in the next month. 
Seasons Wit and Jamie Richards there. We move on, Tom, to a last start winner, Run Run Cool. And this was course and distance and well looked after at the weights too, up just one pound for a three-time course and distance winner. Yeah, look, he's off a, a rating here of 80 now. He's one off 72, but he has placed off 80 and 82 in the, the past, but he's never been able to win off these sort of marks. And when he did win off uh, 72, he was able to carry the, the 133, he carried 134 last time out. So look, weight shouldn't be an issue, but it's when he gets up to these higher marks, Paul, that he has struggled in the past. Yeah, and he's only a three-time winner, isn't he, uh, from his 23 starts. Now, he did win two in a row of those three. So... He can hold his form. That's that's one positive for him. But look, he's going to be chasing a speedster in this, isn't he, with a lightweight? He sure is. That speedster is Cheval Valiant. Pleasant endeavour, though, Paul. He seasons really good. Six starts, two wins, three placings and a fourth. He's had like, his best season as a five-year-old now, isn't he? He's just going so well. The stable, Ricky Yu stable, is flying. He's drawn nicely in barrier 13. There's a lot of positives about him. I think he'll just be behind the pace. So, look, I'm going to include him. Yeah, he, he certainly goes in for me. Um, he's been just going super well at the moment. Of course, Run Run Cool's coming at us. That's Talent Supremo there on the, the far side. He got uh, chopped out uh, last uh, time out. So, uh, look, I, I don't mind him in this race at all. And he's got Barry 13, so he's going to have that stand rail again, which is going to be a, a big asset. And there'll be no false rail tomorrow either. Thank you. Okay, and uh, Derek Long has ridden five winners on the horse. That's all of them from 16 rides. But this man, Ricky, you, Tom Airborne. He certainly is. So look for the, the season. He's had 42, but the big one, of course, last weekend at the Derby. 22 seconds, 32 with third. So I think he's had 11 or so winners across the last 10 meetings. Uh, Paul and uh, Stable absolutely airborne at, at the moment. And here's what he's got coming up uh, on Saturday, uh, on Sunday. Yeah, look, I, I really like Win Win 33 in, uh, out of those horses. I think Darcy Joy is going well. I really like Excellent Fighter. So I think both those two can win. Uh, and later on, Pleasant Endeavour's going to run well. Super Baby, like a golden link. I don't like the horse, just the way he races. <laughs> he gets his head up, and but he's got the ability, and he could win. He doesn't like you either. No, he's like probably he said. <laughs> <laughs> We move on to that speedster uh, that was talked about, Cheval Valiant. Paul went like an absolute jet this day. Usually something will come along late and grab him. That didn't even look like happening. It didn't, did it? it, did it. He's, now, he's a two-time winner from his 17 starts. He normally finds something to run past him. He's going to have the lightweight. He's up and up in grade as well. Look, I've got him in. I've got him as a Quinella horse. Uh, oh, no, I've got him in for third, actually, because the horse is going so well at the moment. We might get a light on the form earlier in the day because that's uh, Hong Kong Hall uh, succumbing to a fifth place singer there. But if with that lightweight, if he can get away and they ride him like that uh, again, they might not see which way he went. It worked last time, so surely they'll do the, the same thing here. Flying high, Tom. He's pretty consistent over the 1,000, but he has struggled when he's come up in Class 3 in the past. Yeah, his record certainly says that, Mark. Uh, unplaced uh, top three from seven, and he's had that uh, one-fourth uh, placing. It was a handy win when he got off heels here and got into the, the clear uh, this occasion, but he's only really got he's, got... he's one of those horses, Paul, that needs to be sort of saved for that one last sprint. That's Summit Cheers on the far side as well. He's won since. Yeah, so the form's not too bad from him. Look, he's, he's in career-best form at the moment, this horse. If he ever is going to win one, he comes in with a light racing weight as well. I put him in on a minor line because he's so consistent. All right, that is flying high. He's one of your old favourites, Paul California Rad. He's having just his second go down the straight. He comes from last to win this trial up at Chung Fa. Yeah, it was a nice uh, win from him. Look, he had blood in the track here a while back and he just hasn't seen the same horse since then. He's drawn nicely in barrier 14. It was a quiet trial, to be fair, uh, with him. Look, I didn't include him in then. I thought he looked like he had his head on his side in this trial a, a little bit as well. He, he's dropped 28 pounds. I don't know if that's a, a mm. concern or not with him this time round. Uh, he ran well three runs ago down the, the straight uh, behind uh, Metro Warrior, but a uh, couple of trial wins, dropping a bit of weight. Head looked to be on the side, maybe a few question marks. OK, what about uh, the record as far as the fastest 1,000 metre horses in this race, Tom? Yeah, well, these uh, are horses that uh, have uh, performed down the straight here, not necessarily have won, but uh, have run time. Run, run, cool up the, the top there, uh, 55 for 2-1 Metro. Warrior's been able to uh, run time. Even Cheval Valiant uh, has run time uh, down the straight. And a few others that haven't won that have been a, a little bit out of it. But uh, run, run, cool, just the, the weight and sort of, well, not necessarily the weight pull, but his rating is the concern. Yeah, it is for me. Look, flying high, we talked about he hasn't got a good record on this grade, but with a light weight and that sort of time, he's competitive. We've dissected the competitive. race like a frog in the science class, Paul, so who do you like in this? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go with uh, one that wasn't on that list, which was Seasons <laughs> Wit. <laughs> uh, Seasons Wit, because he comes here for the first time. Is there, if there is rain around, it's really going to suit him. Look, Cheval Valiant's going to have the light weight. He'll be out in front. Catch me if you can. Uh, flying High, we've talked about, and Pleasant and Deb, we've talked about those three as well. So 8, 9, 11 and 3.
I put the list together and he's not on that list either because <laughs> it was only the 1,000 metre horses, but I'm going with eight as well. Uh, seasons uh, with two, uh, ran second behind uh, Atomic Force uh, last uh, time out, only just missed there. Pleasant Endeavour certainly gets uh, a chance in this race, just going so well at the moment out of the informed stable. The form out of the race has been good with Run Run Cooley, went forward and was a, a tough performance, I thought, from him last uh, time out. Chevelle Valiant with the, the light waist, uh, weight has to be dangerous uh, here, one would uh, think uh, certainly uh, Chevelle Valiant. And then the other one I'm going to put in is number 14, Talent Supreme. Richard Gibson and Karis Teton very unlucky last time out he got squeezed up at a crucial point whether there was a gap there for him probably debatable but uh, the run was pretty good I thought and he has been improving so going it with the 8, 3, 9 and 14 and that is all of the information for race number 8 at Shah 10 on Sunday off to a break here on Racing to Win back to look at the 10th right after this <laughs> You're watching Racing to Win. Before we go on, reminder about Hong Kong Direct this week. Nick Child, the host, and he spoke with Derby winning rider Alexi Bedell. So you can jump on the website, hkjc.com, click on audio and video and find Hong Kong Direct and hear from Alexi about how he masterminded that brilliant ride to win the Derby. We need to move on to race number 10 here on Racing to Win. It's over the 1,400 metres and it is a Class 3 event. We have got Eremo at the top of the book, a three-time course and distance winner. Drombeg Benner is on the class drop. Solid impact steps up from the 12 to the 1,400 metres. We've got uh, Happy Daly, a three-time course and distance winner. Jumbo Legend, Visor off, pacifiers with cows going on. Partia plays three from nine, course and distance. Excellent daddy raced wide at Happy Valley. Master Heroes one off ratings 69, 61 and 53. He's off 64. Golden Link's last four starts have been at the Valley. And Universal Horizon comes up in grade after running second behind Run Run Buddy. So carries 15 pounds less for the class rise. The speed map here, Tom, expected to be good. Going forward is Circuit Mighty. Yes, he can certainly lead up in this race from Barry number nine for De Souza and to Manfred Man. Master Hero is another one of those horses that does like to race handy. Parterre's normally not far off the pace. Uh, Drombeg Banapur, they've led with him, but can he lead maybe from 10? Yeah, I think he's going to have to work a bit, isn't he, from that wide draw, because Circuit Mighty's drawn inside him. I think he eventually get across, but he might just have to work early with their apprentice claim. Uh, Golden Links, another one with a wide draw. Beauty Missile was a little bit awkward away last start, so uh, if he does something similar from his draw, which is 13, I think he'll have to go towards the back. An excellent daddy last on the inside, but Happy Daily is where we start. He's against the fence, coming back to his favourite course and distance, and he's to be ridden by Keithy Young. Keith Happy Daly just missed here at Happy Valley last time, but going back to Shah Tin must give you a lot of confidence. He does race well there. Yes, uh, he's a lovely horse to ride. He race, I think he raced both well, Shah Tin and Happy Valley. It's just um, a, a matter of the draw. Yeah. From the draw last time, we saw him ridden a little bit closer. What are your tactics hoping to be this week? Similar. I think we got a good barrier this time, and we're going to just ride him close to the speed, and I think that's the best way to ride him comes back from the 1600 to 1400 that's no concern because that's the distance of all these wins yeah yeah so happy valley 1650 or shot in 14 they embrace both well on both track just seems to be a real trier of a racehorse and gives you everything yes he's like he's a lovely horse to ride he's easy he knows what he's doing and he you always give confidence to the jockeys on yourself how's the fitness it was a pretty nasty tumble last week I guess um, I must be really fit to be walk out from the accident. There he is, Keith Young riding Happy Daily. We move on though, Tom, to a Solid Impact as our first replay. Now this is across at Happy Valley. He ends up running uh, third in this race. He was a winner two starts ago and that win was over Lucky Ace. And that form after Wednesday night looks really good now. It certainly does because uh, he was very good uh, the other night and it was a, I thought it was a, not a bad run from him uh, this time round. He was slightly sort of held up in uh, the early part of the, the straight but he has been consistent. Hasn't won here at Sha Tin, Paul, but he is uh, coming here with a, a horse that has placed three of his six starts. Yeah, yeah. So he, he, look, he's capable but Sha Tin without winning. Did go up uh, from that uh, win. He's at a high rating now of 72 but look, he's going well. All right, we've got three to look at in our second replay. It is Beauty Missile, who was favourite in this race. There he is up on the outside. We've also got Partia closer to the speed, and Eremo is buried in behind them. Thought he was only average for a beaten favourite this day, a Beauty Missile, Paul. He got slow away, and he got back, and uh, as you say, he came into the race here, and he looked he like he was 
uh, going to let down, but he just didn't in that last little bit. He ended up finishing seventh, and um, yeah, a little bit disappointing. Partey has been honest without winning, and uh, look, Eremo's gone to the trial since and trialled really well since. Yeah, he was, he was still sort of coming up the 150, then he had maybe a little bit of a, a brush there with the parterre and just sort of at the, the 100 metres it peaked on his run. He, he did cover some ground in that, so I'm prepared to give him a, a little excuse for it. OK, uh, off to Happy Valley now. Tom, Jumbo Legend is the horse here. He's been tried over 1,200 and 1,650 at the Valley uh, right throughout this season. He's coming to Sha Tin for his third appearance. His two looks at the track have been over the 1,000 and the 1,200. With the distance they don't run in Happy Valley being 1,400, is it the trip that he needs? I think it might be a sweet spot, uh, this horse, uh, Jumbo Legend. You can see the, the winner it was too good again on this night to How Deep Is Your Love. Casper's changed the gear as well, the, the visor's coming off and the, the pacifiers with the cowlers uh, going on. This was only 11 days ago, but he was he was running on, so I just thought, Paul, maybe 1,400 might be the sweet spot for him. Yeah, it could well be. I mean, he's, he's been running at uh, Happy Valley all season, and he hasn't done anything worse than fourth. Uh, the two wins were over the 1,200, so maybe the 1,400. OK, that is Jumbo Legend. We go down in grade for Universal Horizon. There he is. He takes a long time to wind up this uh, horse pull. And Run Run Buddy was just able to get across from barrier 14. He nipped away at the top of the straight and he just couldn't quite catch him. But he should appreciate a lighter weight in this race. Yeah, look, he did win off 52, uh, this horse, but he's been very consistent. So he's gone up in the ratings. He's now up, up to this rating of 62. So he comes up from class four into uh, class three without winning. But the, the positive side, he comes in with a light weight and a good barrier draw. So the horse is going well at the moment. Um, look, I've definitely included him because he's going well, but um, you just see if we can do it up in, in grade. He got close to a run-run buddy who would dominate off the, the front. I, I give him a chance, certainly, in this race uh, with a, a light weight. Closed off nicely, wasn't beaten overly far. And he's been a pretty consistent horse, just with, uh, missed uh, one placing from his six starts today. Well, that's a pretty good push for Universal Horizon. The trial file is up now. This is Eremo. There he is on the outside. We've got Lost Child in this trial. He runs earlier in the program, so we can get some sort of guide uh, how he goes out of this. We've also got Thunderbolt Taurus and Leading Fortune, which are in earlier in the day also. You're keen on him, Paul. No concerns around the 135 because he's just been a little flatter with the top weight lately. Yeah, he's not the biggest horse around, so that is a little bit of concern. But I like the way he trolled here. He's a three-time winner over the course and distance. I thought this was an open race. I was looking for something at a, at a bit of a price, and we know Eremo is very good on his day as well. So uh, this trial, I thought, was really good, and I thought he went to the line well. Yeah, there's definitely no standouts in this last race, is there? And even though he's got an 11 next to his name, he was a little bit held up and he was only beaten three links from the winner Tamara Blitz last time out. So it was actually a pretty good run, I thought. OK, so that is a good push for the top weight. Eremo, Derek Long takes the ride for John Size. Drombeg Banner, Tom, now. He was the horse that won at his second start in Hong Kong. He was green lamped into 32-1. to 1. His two starts since have been an eighth behind Happy Together and a ninth behind Running Glory. This is a trial behind Sight Success, who runs in Dubai on Saturday night. Can he bring that form we saw at start two back to the races on Sunday? Yeah, well, the, I thought the trial was OK. There wasn't really too much pressure put on him. He didn't do a, a great deal at all last uh, time out behind Running Glory, but that was an extended uh, band uh, uh, rating class two uh, there over the 2,000 metres, and I'm not sure the, the 2,000 metres was really ideal for him Paul. He probably wasn't given too much of a chance. I think it was him and Enjoying who set up really slow pace in front and it, mm. it wasn't ideal. They handed up the lead in the end and he was never involved after that. Yeah, yeah. Look, he's, his win was over 16. He's back here to over the 1,400 metres from the 2,000. He's a fit horse. Um, I'm just worried a little bit about the draw barrier 10 from... I'm going to include him because he does come in with a nice weight with that £7 claim. Angus Chung takes the ride for Pierre Ung on Drombeg Banner, but we've uh, heard that you like Eremo already, Paul. Yeah, look, I just think he, he might be a bit of a price in the last and an even race. He's currently at 20, so he's come up a, a good price early. Uh, Universal Horizon has to prove it in the grade, but uh, does come with a good weight. Drombeg Banner and the Beauty Missile will give him another chance. He was a little bit disappointing uh, last start. one twelve two four. I'll go with uh, Jumbo Legend coming to uh, Sha Tin and coming to uh, 1,400 metres for the uh, first time out of Casper Founds' of stable. Alexi Bedell rides drawn nicely, barrier three. Maybe they can be a, a little bit closer with him in the, the run with that uh, good uh, draw, but we know he's got a, a good turn of foot, does uh, Jumbo Legend. Beauty Missile, I think, had a couple of little excuses last uh, time out, currently at uh, 13 to 1. Universal Horizon, uh, he'll be somewhere in the firing line as well with the, the light weight on his back from barrier number five, not beaten overly far. And Solid Impact, another one that has been consistent uh, recently did get that uh, win and then uh, ran at two and a half lengths uh, third behind Brave Star last start 6, 4, 12 and 3 
So we've seen race eight, we've seen race number 10 on racing to win this episode, but there are a 10 race program, or is a 10 race program coming up this week, and there are eight more winners to find, Paul. Yeah, look, I, I thought Classic Moon, after a break, hit the line really strongly on uh, in his last start. There was a bit of money for him at a big price as well. I think he can go well in the first. Uh, Dragon Pride, another horse that uh, is really well rated at the moment. Speedy Smarty caught the eye on his debut. Uh, win -win 33 downgraded. Galvanic's going nicely at the moment. Uh, just overcome a wide draw. Give Thunderbolt Horus uh, another chance coming up to the 1,600 metres. Excellent fighter. Looks like he's got rating points in hand as well. And uh, Ching was an impressive winner his last start. And you can find a breakdown of all of the races on the website, hkjc.com. Click on audio and video. It's right next to Hong Kong Direct, actually, is the race-by-race -race preview. But of all of those runners there, Paul, which one was the best? Going to go with Speedy Smarty. I just really was uh, taken with his um, uh, run on debut here. Zach Burton jumps aboard from a good draw, and he's up to 1,200, which looks like absolutely ideal for him. So race three, number eight, Speedy starts, Smarty. And race ten, number one, Eremo. We talked about him. I think he'll come up in price. He's 20s at the moment. He's a three-time winner over the course and distance. We'll do the play in the, the, the sprint. Seasons with Chevelle Valiant, Flying High, QQP, 8, 9, 11 in race number 8. Best for me comes up in the seventh race. It is excellent fighter. I think he can uh, win again. Ricky Yu and uh, De Souza teaming up uh, from uh, barrier number six up in grey uh, with 122 on his back. I think the last race is pretty open, so going jumbo legend to, to 1,400 metres here. Race 10, horse six, Casper Founds and Alexi Bedell. And the play in that uh, final race as well with Beauty Missile and Universal Horizon. Pair him up with jumbo legend. Stick solid with Ching. He was good to us last time. We go again up to 124 pounds, but he's such a big horse that 124 should be quite okay. Lola Hewitson and Michael Cheng. He's getting some luck in his races and has been uh, holding his form. Noble Boys is now with Manfred Mann. Place two from nine. He was uh, a horse that had a couple of placings last time in. He's had three trials from Manfred. They looked okay. End of the play. Race nine. One Simba. Four happy together and six Ching, one, four, six in AQQP for race number nine. So that's a look at Sha Tin coming up on Sunday afternoon. Tom mentioned there could be some rain around, so keep an eye on the weather conditions for maybe a yielding track form if that does pan out. And then we stay at Sha Tin on Wednesday night, Tom. Yeah, we've got the dirt meeting coming up. I think we've got a class two race uh, there. Um, Harmony and Richie's been trialling well on the uh, surface. Um, Adios Paul is going around in that class two. Yeah, I liked him last time, but it's a good race. Nervous Witness is in there as well, uh, along with Campione. So it should be a really good one. On that one. All right, that's coming up Wednesday night. But we're at Sha Tin on Sunday for the first of ten. A reminder, early start. We'll see you there at 12.45.